Paul, of course, you guys always want to win when you're at home. Um, but you did get the point. What are your takeaways from the game? Yeah, I think, obviously, um, it's not the result we want uh, in a tough moment. Um, you know, we're trying to get out of this. Um, you know, I thought we had a pretty good game plan. I think, you know, both teams at times looked really disconnected. Um, you know, to be fair, at times we look like, you know, two teams fighting for fighting for points um, with, with a lot of turnovers. But we still have a lot of work to do. Um, you know, just going back to the basics, I'm happy the way that we fought, the way we competed, another clean sheet uh, for the guys in the back who are working their butts off to, to continue to shift and, and try and make plays. Um, and with the ball, we still have a, lo a long ways to go. Um, but but it, but it takes bravery, it takes commitment, um, and, and it takes uh, selflessness. Um, and at the moment, you know, it, it's hard, it's hard to find that uh, for us in the ball. So, uh, you know, that's that's what we got to continue to work on. Uh, we'll take the point, and uh, you know, now we have a, a good game coming up against Colorado. You mentioned the second consecutive clean sheet. Like a hallmark of this team in the last two years has been defensive solidity. Do you feel like you guys are kind of starting to get back to that identity? Yeah, I felt you know, um, besides the one chance. Um, Jordan Morris had in the first half. I thought overall we were, we were, uh, you know, pretty solid, kind of containing their their guys up top. Um, you know, it's big for us to continue to shift, to to slide, um, trying to get used to the three back, the five back. When when it, when it turns into a four back, when it stays at the five back, you know, we thought we did a better job today of getting out of the low block compared to how we did against St. Louis. St. Louis, we were struggling fighting for our lives today. We we were able to find a little more of. Um, uh, of transitioning from, from a low block to a mid block. So um, defensively, that's good. But again, it's just going back to, to offensively. You know, we, we have to find ways to create. Um, you know, we, we have to find ways to try and adapt to, to Patar, who's who's a big nine. Um, we're, we're really struggling to, to try and um, get him service. And, and also the way we're using him, um, you know, just hasn't been great. So, uh, you know, we, we got to continue to, to do that. Last one. Please. No other comments. Last one from me. Um, you're at the wing back role right now. It's not one that you've done over much in your career. How are you adjusting to it? Yeah, um, you know, it's been good. Um, you know, I played there um, a year, year and a half in Tijuana, uh, and I loved it. Um, it was it was amazing. I learned a lot there, and I've been able to, to bring that into to my role now. Um, and I felt good. You know, to be to be honest with you, it keeps me much more engaged in the game. Being being uh, you know uh, in the defensive back line, you don't want to be a liability. Um, and so you know, just kind of continuing to do that, understanding positioning, uh, understanding when to when to release, when to stay in. Uh, I think it's a great role for me. Um, and with the ball, I think we can continue to get better to utilize that space. I think our chances will come. I think chances will come for me. Um, but, but we still have a long ways to go um, offensively. But hopefully I'll be able to uh, help the team out uh, in, in some type of way offensively uh, next game. Conversely, Dante's you know, first year as a starter in that same kind of position on the opposite side. Obviously, he's been progressive so far. Yeah, I, I think he's been good. I think, obviously, preseason, um, he did really well. Um, uh, and I think now that we're in competition, it's a little bit different. It's it's a little bit uh, of a different feeling. Um, you know, he, he's obviously a young kid. He has a lot of talent. He, he's he's been able to show that uh, really strong, really good on the dribble. Uh, but there's still a lot of things that he he needs to get better at um, and, and continue to grow to, to become a better player. But uh, you know, he can he he's definitely there fighting for for his spot. Um, and he's done well. I'm, I, I've been happy with him. Uh, he's, he's been a great guy in the locker room, and uh, you know, hopefully, we we continue to help him push and, and grow uh, even more in that position.